In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to move numbers and variables over the fraction line by changing an exponent from positive to negative and vice versa. We will also go over how to proceed when a fraction is raised to an exponent. First, let's review negative exponents. You learned that you can move a number or variable over the fraction line by changing the sign of the exponent from negative to positive. This can be done to move from the numerator to the denominator and from the denominator to the numerator. You can also change a number or variable's exponent from positive to negative by moving it over the fraction line. 3 squared can also be written as 1 over 3 to the negative 2. In the future, changing an exponent from positive to negative can be helpful when simplifying or evaluating terms or expressions. Now, if you have a number or variable that does not have an exponent, you can still use this method. Let's consider the example x. x can also be written as x to the power of 1. Remember, a number's value does not change when we raise it to the power of 1. So now we have x equal to x to the power of 1. We can change the sign of the exponent and flip it over the fraction line to get 1 over x to the power of negative 1. This can be done to part of a term as well. If you have 3x, you can raise just one part of the term with an exponent of 1 and change the exponent sign and flip it over the fraction line. So 3x becomes x over 3 to the negative 1. Here is a fraction that is being raised to the power of 3. Press pause and see if you can simplify this term. Press play when you are ready to continue. We use the power of a power rule to apply 3 to each number and variable in the term to get our final answer. Remember that when you have a term with more than one number or variable in brackets with an exponent, the exponent is applied using the power of a power rule to each number and variable in the brackets. Terms that include a divisor, also known as a denominator, follow the same rule. This does not work for expressions. An expression contains more than one term connected by addition or subtraction. Here are a few examples. Press pause and simplify the following. When you are ready, press play. The first three were fairly straightforward. The exponent is applied to all of the numbers and variables in the term using the power of a power rule. The fourth example, though, cannot be simplified this way. Remember that this only works with a single term and not expressions. Expressions have addition and or subtraction signs. For this example, we will need to expand, then combine like terms to simplify. In this lesson, you learned that you can move numbers and variables over the fraction line by changing the sign of their exponent. Numbers and variables without an exponent can be raised to the power of 1 and then moved over the fraction line by changing the 1 to a negative 1. Finally, you learned that when a fraction is raised to an exponent, the power of a power rule is applied to all of the numbers and variables within them.